that that chapter, Mark 9, is the chapter where Jesus goes up on the Mount of Transfiguration and gets totally transfigured in the light. It says his appearance underwent a change, his bodily appearance, okay? But the first verse in that chapter, Jesus is talking about <laughs> some of the disciples that were with him not actually seeing or experiencing or tasting death before they see the kingdom of heaven come in its power. Let's look at Mark 9, 1. It says this, And Jesus said to them, Truly and solemnly I say to you, there are some standing here who will in no way taste death before they see the kingdom of God come in its power. Okay, now, what's he talking about? He's saying, you are, some of you here, you're not going to taste death. You're not going to see death. You're not going to see death of your organs, death of your skin, aging happen, uh, disease come upon you till you see the kingdom come in its power. And who was there? Well, who went up on the mountain with him? John, Peter. Okay, they went up on the mountain with him. And when they were up on the mountain, they got exposed to the light, the same transfiguring power of the light that came upon that mountain. When Jesus' was, um, appearance underwent a change and his clothes became, clothing became glistening, blazing with light, they got exposed to it too. Now, how many of you know that John, <clears throat> we're going to probably jump ahead a little bit and then backtrack, Jamar. John and James and Peter were up on the mountain. But do you remember what happened to, the, to John? Let's look at first the proof that they were up there. Mark Two, nine, two through three. Jump ahead a little bit, JJ. <clears throat> so six days after this, after what? After he said, some of you here will not experience or taste death. Says Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up on the high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and became resplendent with divine brightness. And his garments became glistening, intensely white, as no fuller cloth, dress, or launder on earth could bleach them. So he says, some of you are not going to taste death. He takes three of them up there. What happened to those three? Because they got exposed to all that light too. What happened to them? Well, John, later on, John was boiled in oil. That's what the historians say as, as part of, the, you know, when they, when they captured him, they boiled him in oil. And guess what? He didn't die. I, last time I checked, when you boil something in oil, it gets cooked. You ever deep fried chicken? It don't stay raw, it gets cooked and comes crispy. Can you imagine being a human being boiled in a pot of oil, but not dying? Why, why did John survive getting boiled in oil? Is it because he got a light infusion? Because Jesus said some of you here will not taste death before you see the kingdom come in its power. And then he go, they go up and the light is exploding there. And Jesus, is the light of the world, and the Bible says his light brings life. Did he get enough of a, a light infusion to where he became impervious to the effects of death? Do you remember what was said about him when uh, Peter was uh, had quit the ministry and gone fishing, and the guys came with him, the rest of the disciples, and then Jesus, they're out there, and they're not catching anything, and Jesus shows up on the beach, this is after the resurrection. And he tells them, oh, you know, throw your net on the other side of the boat and you'll catch something. They throw it and then Peter goes, it's the Lord. And he puts his cloak on and jumps and swims. And that's when Jesus restores Peter because he had betrayed him, you know, by saying he didn't know who Jesus was. And then the cock crowed three times. And Jesus restores him on that beach encounter. Well, then afterwards, Peter's walking along. And I hope I've got it. I'll try to find it for you, Jamarly, so you can put it up. Uh, it's John 21. I don't know if we have it there. But Peter's walking along and he says to Jesus, what's going to happen to this guy? And he goes, well, if I want him to stay alive until I come, what's that to you? It sounds like <laughs> John got a big infusion of the light, which is life. And you know, John... The rumors are, not the rumors, but historical context is, is, is historical records are kind of differing on what happened to John. He either grew to a very old age and then he died or he got translated. These are the three things that history say about John. Okay. He got translated up to heaven like Enoch or he's still alive and we just don't know. We just, you know, we haven't seen him because he's, he's on the down low. 
Either way, even if he died at a very ripe age, man, come on. He was filled with the light, which is life. You think, well, what about happened to the other two? Well, Peter was hung upside down on a cross, is martyred that way, and James, James was killed, and, and um, he was also, see, it says traditionally he was martyred by being stoned to death. So, I mean, if they hadn't been intentionally murdered, Peter and James, they received the light infusion up on the Mount of Transfiguration too. If they hadn't been, you know, intentionally murdered, how long would they have lived? Would they have been as imperious to death as John? I believe so. We have to understand that the light of Jesus Christ brings life. It brings life. Let's look at it. Let's look at that so that you understand where I'm going. Going. Psalm 36, 9 says, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light do we see light. What is inside of you right now? A fountain of life that's made out of light. Okay, you have Christ in you. It says, with you is the fountain of life. That's capital Y, capital Y for you, meaning Jesus Christ. Is the fountain of life. In your light do we see light. Okay, the f Christ lives in you, the hope of glory. And he's a fountain of life. But that fountain is sparkling, that water fountain, rivers of living water is sparkling with light. I've seen it. I've seen it when I'll, when I'll get quiet and I'll turn my attention in to the fountain of life, who's Jesus Christ, because he's the light of the world and his life brings light. And I'll meditate on releasing Christ's fountain, releasing his presence, releasing his living waters, and I'll see the waters pouring out. And they're sparkling with light because the light brings life. You have a fountain inside of you right now. If you were to practice just every night laying on your bed, putting your hands on your belly and not going, oh God, there's all these horrible things happening to me. Please help me. No, but to turning your mind away from all the traumas that have happened to you. Oh my gosh, I'm so angry at that person. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about this. I'm trying to practice this right now. Turn your gaze away from that thing that trouble, that worry, that fear, that memory, turn towards the fountain of life that's inside of you. Ask Jesus to start pouring out his rivers of light-filled living water. And you'll start to see, as the light comes out, you'll be transfigured. It will push out the trauma out of your cells of your body. Amen? Okay, now, look. I'm still going to go teach him, but now I got to stop and say, this is why I built this resource, Sons of the Light, guys. I know I keep on preaching this, but man, there's just not enough uh, movement of this product on my website. You guys don't understand the value of this. This is the Sons of the Light. It's four teachings. They're like... There's so many scriptures about the light of Christ. How the Son of Righteousness arises on you with healing in His wings and His beams of light. Rise on you with healing in his wings and his beams of light. The beams of light heal you. And how uh, Luke 11, your eye or your conscience is sound and fulfilling its office when your whole body is full of light. Ephesians 1, you'll receive the secrets and mysteries by having the eyes of your heart flooded with light. You want to get smarter? You want to have more revelation? You want to have more downloads? Get flooded with light. I mean, I do four sessions of teaching, okay? And... During all those, I'm activating you. I'll do a scripture and then I activate you into it. Activate you into it. Activate you into it. I teach you about how your voice releases light. Because the word voice actually means to shine, to become bright and resplendent. I teach you how your hands are covered with lightning. And the lightning strikes their mark. That's the scripture in Job. I would teach you how your praise releases light. I mean, I'll walk through the whole thing and I activate you, activate you. And then what happens with this is not only there are four sessions, but there's three soaking sessions. Three soakers with music underneath and all the scriptures and I'm decreeing them over you and decreeing the scriptures and decreeing them over you and decreeing them over you and you're sitting there. This is when you'll lay in your bed and just soak to it and receive it and soak to it. I mean, uh, Carolina, who just joined the team, said it's a, quote, game changer. Right, girl? Mm -hmm. Game changer. Yep. Let's throw it to the, the commercial and then we'll come back and then I'm going to keep going because we're going to get rid of these memories that are embedded in printed the science actually says they're imprinted on your physical body.
Check this out. Hey everybody, it's Katie Souza letting you know about Sons of the Light. This is an amazing course and an amazing product that you can get where I teach you about the light of Christ and how this part of Jesus' character and his nature can actually bring healing to your body, healing to your soul, breakthrough to your finances, bring your family into salvation, and so much more. This is an amazing course where I have four sessions of teaching on how the light of Jesus Christ is actually a power that can change our life. Then I have three amazing soakers. These have music with scripture. I'm decreeing them over you. You can sit and lay in the presence of the Lord and receive or decree along with me to get even more filled with his light. Check it out. It's called Sons of the Light. There's a QR code, guys, the QR code. You need to hold your phone up to there and let the link come down. This, this is not a product that we send you by CD. This is a product that you get the, you, you sign up to get it and it immediately appears as a link on your phone. You immediately have access to it. And then you just tap that link and up, up pops the sessions and up pops the soakers. Look, we're going into Christmas time. Probably going to run into people that you love, but that you're struggling with. They've done stuff to you. You've done stuff to them. You're offended. They're offended. That's what happens during the holidays. The holidays are awesome, but they also can be terrible. Or you might be home alone because you don't have the family. Your fam's not inviting you over. They've rejected you, or maybe they're all passed away and you're by yourself, literally. You need to get healed of all that stuff because the longer this type, these traumas that we've been through are stored in your physical body, the more likely you are to develop serious illness. And you might be thinking, well, I'm already there. I already got serious illness. I'm already there. Well, that's why the Bible says in Malachi 4.2 that the Son of Righteousness will rise on you with healing in His wings and His beams. That word beams is beams of light. The word healing there means a cure. A cure. The light can cure you. Cure you of that cancer. Cure you of that disease. Cure you of that arthritis. It's true. There's the scripture. It says, I love how it says, He'll rise on you, the sun, S-U-N, meaning light because it's really the Son, S-O-N, of righteousness, who is Jesus Christ. Arise with healing in his wings and his beams, and you shall go forth and gamble like calves, released from the stall and leap for joy. When you get filled with the light, and you sit there and you intentionally decree these scriptures over yourself, use my sons of the light teaching. I walk you through it. You pray with me. It's easy. Then you'll learn how to do it on your own by just letting me help you get there. You'll start being released from the stall and leap. Like a calf, leap. What do calves do when they're released from a stall after being penned up so long? They buck and they leap and they jump and they twist. You know, you can't do that when you're sick. You can't do that when you're tired. You can't do that when you're traumatized. Right now, many of you are. And you need to get this not only out of your soul, but the darkness. Light dispels the darkness. But you need to get it off your physical body. Look at this. Um... Hebrews 1.3. Remember, I read you that scientific report, and it says that the trauma actually gets imprinted. It used that word. Imprinted on the mind, but also the physical body, on your cells, on your organs, on your bones, everything. Well, look at this. This is how you get it, those imprints off. I love Jesus. Hebrews 1.3 says, He, meaning Jesus, is the sole expression of the glory of God, the light being. Jesus is a light being. Remember, he's the light of the world. The outraying or radiance of the divine. He is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. You see, Jesus is a light being. He lives in here and he's outraying. Outraying what? His light beams. Remember, he arises on you with healing and his wings and his beams of light. He's outraying the beams of light to do what? Put the perfect imprint of God on you. This is how, gosh, I hope you're following me. This is how you get rid 
of the trauma that's been imprinted in the cellular, cellular level on your body as you tune into the light being, Jesus Christ, because he's out raying from inside you out, and he's imprinting with his light God's nature, which drives out the imprint of the trauma and the darkness. This is real. Light carries information, guys. I've said this before. When you have a negative in the old school developing rooms, they took the negative of a photograph, they put it on a rack, they put the photographic paper down underneath it, and they shined light through it. And the light went through the negative and flipped the image and burned a positive imprint on the photographic paper. That's what the light of Christ does to you. It goes through the darkness of the trauma and the crises and the stressors that are trapped in your body and your soul, and it flips a positive image and it imprints God on you instead of the imprint of all of that, the crises that you've lived through. Lord Jesus, thank you, God. Hallelujah. In fact, let's just do a little thing there. I want you to close your eyes, put your hand on your belly, and tune in to who's inside of you right now, the light being. Look, again, you know, the 25th, we don't know if it's, you know, people say it's not exactly the birthday of Christ, but we're headed towards a worldwide celebration of that. And Jesus came as a light into the world. Now's the time, you know, a lot of people are celebrating um, Hanukkah right now, the festival of lights. The Jewish people celebrate that. And now there's a realm open right now for you to step into the light, the miracle. The Hanukkah celebrates the miracle of the multiplication of the oil when they took back the temple from the Greeks that had polluted the holy temple of God by sacrificing unclean swine and, you know, on the altar. They took it back, and in order to clean it up, they lit the menorah, but there was only one day of oil left to light the menorah, and the menorah, was once it was lit, it was supposed to continuously burn. Well, that one day supply of oil lasted eight days. That's why they celebrate eight days of Hanukkah, Festival of Lights. God has got a multiplication for you right now, available for you, that will keep the menorah lit of the oil of the Holy Spirit. So, Put your hands on your belly and close your eyes and say, I receive the multiplication of his light. I turn my attention away from that worry, that fear, that traumatic event. I turn my attention away from the bitterness and the offense and I turn it towards the light being Jesus Christ. He's in me now, and he's outraying his light. Just say, I receive it. I see it. I receive it. It's truth. It's reality. The light being is outraying God's perfect imprint on my mind, will, and emotions, but also on my physical body, all my organs are being imprinted with God's nature. All my cells are being imprinted with the perfect image of God. All my bones and my muscles are being imprinted with light to erase the imprint of trauma and crises and stresses and fears and worries. Say the sun of righteousness is arising in me with healing in his wings and his beams of light. Just keep your focus turned within. See the truth right now, guys. See the truth of Jesus' light shining out from your born-again spirit man 
Ephesians 5 says, the spirit is the light and the light is the spirit. Ephesians 5, 9. So it's not exaggeration for you to know that your born again spirit is blazing, bright, glorious, glistening light. Because the light is the spirit and the spirit is the light. The Spirit is, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ. And He's the light of the world. So the Spirit is light. See it right now. Keep your focus on what's beaming out from within you right now. You have an endless source of light. Christ's light, which is life. In you. Outraying. Right now, I command it. I command it right now. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your focus on within. I command that light now to go out and saturate every cell, every organ, every muscle, every tendon, your entire system, all your systems, your digestive system, your respiratory system, your, your fertility system, your, 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 your reproductive systems right now. I command it to saturate your skin. I command that you will be like Jesus right now. You're having an encounter on the Mount of Transfiguration. You are being transformed, transfigured. His appearance underwent a change. You're being changed right now. The light being is imprinting. An image of God on you now through the light, the radiance, the divine radiance of God in the form of Christ in you, the hope of glory, out raying right now into your mind where that memory is stored. Some of you, you can keep your hand on your belly, put your other hand on top of your forehead, beam light. Your hands are covered with lightning and they strike their mark. That's what it says in Job. Beam light into your mind where that memory is there and it's haunting you. It's tormenting you. I command it break. I command the darkness of that traumatic memory to be filled with light right now. Fill with light right now in the name of Jesus now. Burning away that fear. Burning away that worry. Burning away that offense. Burning away that bitterness burning away, that trauma burning, burning away right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Now, pray softly in tongues because as you do, you're bubbling up the spirit inside of you, which means you're bubbling up the light. You're re releasing those rivers of living water. Okay, Let's do, we're doing it live right here, right here. On faith with Katie, right now you're gonna get healed. Rivers of light filled water, rays of light, beams of light. You're going to be released from the stall, leaping for joy like a calf, released from the stall. Right now, the memory fading. Right now, the light driving out the darkness of that pain, of that grief, the grieving that you've been under. Somebody passed away. You had a loss, a loss of a dream, loss of a family member, loss of a child. Right now, a loss of a marriage, the loss. Right now, the, the light erasing that memory, driving the darkness out of your memory bank and out of your cellular, uh, uh, out of the cellular level in your body right now. In the name of Jesus, because your whole body is full of light. Put your, keep your hand on your head. I decree your mind is sound and fulfilling its office because your whole body is full of light. 
full of light, full of light, full of light, full of light right now. Your whole body full of light. Your whole body full of light. Your whole body full of light. So your mind is sound and fulfilling its office. Your body is sound and fulfilling its office. Your cells are getting cleansed right now. The mitochondria, which gives you energy, which gives you strength. The mitochondria in your cells being filled with light. That's what mitochondria does. It absorbs light. Keep your hand on your head. Keep your hand on your body. Thank you, Jesus, right now. More. More. The light, which is life. Life, which is life. The light, which is life. I love that scripture. I think it's John. We're going to put it up. You know, keep on praying while we put it up. And it talks about how the light is life-giving. Life-giving light. Jesus says right there, this is the Passion Translation. It says, I am the light of the world. Those who embrace me will experience life-giving light. And they'll never walk in the darkness. Okay, now embrace Christ. Look within. Embrace him. And what are you going to get? Life-giving light. Life-giving. It's giving you life right now. Life to your mind. Life to your body. Life to your muscles. Life to your cells. Life to every part of you. Life to your bones. Life, life, life. Life-giving light. You're not going to walk in the darkness of disease anymore. You're not going to walk in the darkness of fear anymore. You're not going to walk in the darkness of that sickness anymore. You're not going to walk in the darkness of that grief anymore. I decree it for you. And again, I said, the word voice in the New Testament means to shine, to bring forth into the light, to be bright, to be resplendent. As I'm speaking, you're receiving light. You're becoming brighter, resplendent. Your whole body's getting filled with light. Thank you, Jesus. The light brings life. Thank you, Lord, right now. You know, the light even wards off death. Ephesians 5.14 in the Passion Translation it says, Arise, you sleeper, rise up from your coffin, and the anointed one will shine his light into you. I speak to death, and I say, you got to let go. That death that's coming upon you because that trauma has been trapped in your body and trapped in your mind, and it's bringing death upon you, sickness, disease, disorder, I break it because Christ is shining his life, giving light into you, into you. So arise out of that coffin. Arise out of that coffin of despair. Arise out of that coffin of death. Arise out of that coffin of sickness. Arise out of that coffin of doubt. Arise out of that coffin of anxiety. Arise out of that coffin of depression. Right now, because the shining one, the Christ is shining his light into you. And his light brings life. His light brings life. His light brings life. It's the fountain of life. In his light, we see light. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Jesus. Thank you, my Jesus. You know, that's maybe why Jesus said, some of you here will not see or experience death till you see the kingdom of heaven come in its power. Why? Because the light brings you out of your coffin of death because it's the light which is life. Life. Okay. Wow. Now, we're going to show Sons of the Light commercial one more time and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to command it, break off all your cells in the name of Jesus as we wrap up today's broadcast. Hey everybody, it's Katie Souza letting you know about Sons of the Light. This is an amazing course and an amazing product that you can get where I teach you about the light of Christ and how this part of Jesus' character and his nature can actually bring healing to your body, healing to your soul, breakthrough to your finances, bring your family into salvation, and so much more. This is an amazing course where I have four sessions of teaching on how the light of Jesus Christ is actually a power that can change our life. Then I have three amazing soakers. These have music with scripture. I'm decreeing them over you. You can sit and lay in the presence of the Lord and receive or decree along with me to get even more filled with his light. Check it out. It's called Sons of the Light. There's a QR code right there, guys. Put your device up to it. The link will come down. These 
get sent to you via email, I believe, and then you have them on your phone. Then you can put them on, you know, wherever you're at. You can play it while you're in the car. You can play it on your TV by, you know, air casting it or whatever they call it to the TV. You can play it at night when you're sleeping in your bed. I love to do that. I go to sleep to it and I wake up in the morning to it. Okay, and man, the light which is life. You're going to get cured the sun, as the sun of righteousness arises on you with healing in his wings and his beams of light. You know, I just felt like God had given me this word about Jesus actually being clothed with light upon the Mount of Transfiguration. And the Bible talks about again how God clothes himself with light as a garment. You want your garment. You're clothed in this body. Your spirit, man, is clothed with this body. Well, this body needs to be made of light. It needs to be saturated with light so that all of the imprinting of that trauma comes out of your cells. All right, we're going to thank God now fiercely for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to pray you out. You ready? Because as you think, the word praise in the Bible is the, is the Hebrew word halal, and it means to, to, to flash forth light. So your praise actually flashes forth lightning strikes. So let's start praising him. Go. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you for this season. We praise you that you're going to heal everybody online. We praise you for Christ's light. We praise you that Jesus arises on us with healing in, our, in his wings and his beams. We praise you that we can get free from all the trauma because of what Christ has accomplished for us and what he gives for us. We praise you that the light being lives inside of us and he's beaming out his rays of light to imprint God's purpose perfect image on us and to remove the imprint of trauma. We praise you for all that. We praise you for our families. We praise you for people we're struggling with because we know that as we're filled with light, we're going to be walking in the light and having fellowship with one another as the Bible says. We praise you for the blessings you have for us. We praise you in Jesus' name. Oh, we're almost out of time now. Let me pray for you. Now, Father, I speak light and I command the imprint that's on them of the, the, the terrible memories of the things that they've been through to come out. Come out. I break trauma off of you. I break it out of your cells. I break it out of your body. I break it out of every part of you in the name of Jesus. Now, now, be filled with light. Be filled with light in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, only like 10 seconds left, guys. Merry Christmas. The next time we'll see you is right before New Year's. We have a special for you. I can't wait for you to see it. It's going to be completely awesome. Make sure you don't miss Faith with Katie right before New Year's. We'll see you then. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>